Welcome to today's show with Phil. Uh, we're going to be doing a story on a mother accused of leaving children, leaving five children home alone for without food for hours. And, and this is we're supposed to glorify this, and the taxpayers are supposed to pay tax, you know, collect money from taxpayers to. Pay for this welfare? Really? Got an, I got a question to ask you. Why don't we have fathers in the homes? Anybody? Why do we not have fathers in the home? Please tell me. Well, let's go ahead and watch. Let's go ahead and watch. Let's let's go ahead and uh, let's see what the news news uh, reporters got to talk about. This was uh, brought to you by uh, ABC thirteen Houston at seven forty nine a.m. All right, let's let's see what the uh, uh, reporter the news anchors got to talk about. All right. This morning, a mother is in jail. The authorities say she left her five children home alone for several hours. One of those children, a three-month-old boy, has serious medical needs as well. That mother was in probable cause court overnight. And ABC 13's Courtney Carpenter is live with the newest developments in that court appearance. Courtney. Uh, good morning, Jacob and Erica. Just a sad situation overall. That mother remains behind bars this morning. The children now all in CPS custody after she's accused of leaving them home alone for several hours. The children range in age from eight years old to just three months old. The mother, 25-year-old Catherine Torres Martinez, first appeared in court last night. She's charged with endangering and abandoning her children. A $50,000 bond was set. It was Wednesday when the apartment manager at the complex where they live on Greens Road called police after she noticed the children home alone. Here are some of the allegations read in court last night. The facts alleging that the one-year-old child was in the parking lot barefoot and the three- and four-year-old were also playing outside unattended. Uh, and there was an eight-year-old allegedly left at home to look after the three-month-old who has a colostomy bag. And authorities say it looked like the baby's colostomy bag had not been changed for a day. Documents noted the baby was also swaddled, which they say could have led to suffocation if he had rolled over. Officials say there was expired milk in the fridge and rice and cereal in the pantry, but nothing else, nothing prepared for the children. CPS told an officer on scene that they had closed a case three days before for the mother neglecting the medical care of the baby and not taking him to doctor's appointments. Torres Martinez told police she'd only been gone about 10 minutes to get some milk, but they believe she was gone at least four hours. Now, the children were all taken to Texas uh, Children's Hospital to get checked out, and again, they are now in CPS custody. Reporting live downtown, Courtney Carpenter, AB 13, Eyewitness News. All right, the story from today. Friday, everybody. Uh, yes, it is Earth Day, and temperature readings this afternoon will be just as warm. It's going to feel just as humid as we've seen in the last couple of days. The wind. No, I ain't going to do no more weather talk. All right, judge set the bond at fifty thousand dollars for a mother accused of leaving her five children home alone in the Greens Point area for several hours. One of the children, a three-month-old boy, has serious medical needs. Uh, Catherine Torres Martinez, 25, appeared in probable cause court overnight. She's charged with abandoning a child with intent to return and endangering in uh, all this. Her bond is set to $25,000 abandoned and then $25,000 for endangering charge, bringing total to $50,000. There's her mug shot. Katerine Torres Martinez remains in jail, her children now in state care. She is charged with child abandonment and endangerment for allegedly leaving her five children alone at their apartment on Greens Road for hours. This man, who identified himself as a relative, claims it was only 
for eight to ten minutes. He said the 25-year-old left only to get some milk. That's the same story she told Houston police court records say when they had already been there for 30 minutes. Mom, nowhere to be found. According to court documents, the apartment manager called police Wednesday afternoon concerned that the children had been home alone. When officers arrived, they found a year and a half year old girl in the parking lot with no shoes on and her three and four year old brothers outside. The other two children, an eight year old and three month old, both boys were inside apartment 136. The baby with a full colostomy bag and swaddled documents noted, which could have led to suffocation if he had rolled over. Police said there was expired milk in the fridge and only rice and cereal in the pantry, but nothing prepared for the children. All of these. The relative shared the only photo of the children that he had. He said the children recently arrived in Houston and that Torres Martinez takes care of them. Tonight, CPS tells ABC 13 they took custody of the five children and they are in foster care. As for prior history, we don't have a public record to share. Prosecutors plan to ask the court that Torres Martinez had no contact with her children as a bond condition. Jessica Willie, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. All right. Now, the prosecuting attorney is saying that the mother should have no contact with her children. My question is, where is the father at in the picture? Where is the father? So, feminism advocate taking the fathers out of the homes. And this right here is what you get. I'm not trying to paint everybody into a one lump or a basket or whatever you call it. Um, it's very scared and sad at the same time. Apartment manager in a where they live on the Greens Road called police and a maintenance worker observed the children home alone. Isn't it really sad? That a maintenance worker has to babysit children on the apartment complex's time on their clock. Okay, facts one year old child in a park, parking lot barefoot. Three and four year olds are also playing outside unattended, and there was an eight year old allegedly left at home to look after the three month old who has a colostomy bag. Official said in court. The authority says it looked like a baby's cloth me bag was full and has not been changed for a day. Uh, also, let's go down. The authority says it looked like a baby's cloth me bag has been full and has not been changed for a day. And they said they had expired milk in the fridge and rice and cereal in the pantry but nothing prepared for the children. As you heard the reporters say, the CPS or the Child Protective Service told an officer at the scene that they have closed the three case three days before for the mother neglecting the medical care of the baby for not taking him to doctor's appointments. And Okay, so guess what? The taxpayers are paying for the medical care for those children. They're on Medicaid. And um, where's the father at in the home? Where is the father? If people just say, we want to put fathers back in the home, we would not have this state getting involved. Now, the CPS has got their hands full. 
All right. When is this going to end? Never. So I'm also foreseeing CPS getting called on other people and things. What kind of world do we live in? Alright. I had enough. Down here, let me know in your comments. I want to hear what you got to say.